What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we got a very good one for ya. That's right. We're going to be looking at one of the biggest, actually not one of, the biggest Kickstarter in history. That's right. Which one am I speaking of? <laughs> you should already know. We're talking about the Mint V2s. That's right. The Blue Berry Deck by Assad and 52 cards so buckle in your seat belts because we're going there l l l let's go the v2 mint playing cards by Assad Chaudhry of 52 cards brought this deck to life on Kickstarter back in July of 2018. But this wasn't your typical Kickstarter. Oh no, it wasn't. That's right, no. 5,671 of you great people came together with him to raise an astounding record-breaking, that's right, record-breaking $564,558. Dollars, Yes, what a number. And I must say, what an accomplishment. The front of the tuck box is going to be this really nice blue, almost like a royal blue or a mixture between that and navy. It's going to be real nice matte colored. And on the front, it's going to have the logo that you're going to see repeat itself on the back of the deck which is also the mint logo. It's gonna be all embossed and it's gonna say mint above that in silver, which is also embossed. Underneath it's gonna say luxury playing cards in this almost purplish hue. And that's it for the front. The left side of the tuck case is gonna have the logo on bottom and top and it's gonna say the mint collection in silver. The right side is going to be the same thing as far as the logos, but it's going to say this time around luxury for the modern Cardition. The bottom is going to have ad copy. It says distributed by 52 cards made in America, Los Angeles, California. The back design of the tuck box is fit for a king and very worthy for any collector to say the least. It's gonna have this almost purplish hue that the metallic inks just kind of jump at you off the back of the box, making it very easy to look at, but at the same time, you can't turn away. And that's it for the back. The top of the tuck is gonna have the tuck seal. It's gonna be all white tax stamp seal, and it's gonna say second edition in black, as well as the logo. And underneath that is going to be, once again, the DBoss logo for Mint. So, this time around on the inner parts of the tuck and all the way through and through on the inside, what a nice touch. That same metallic -y ink comes to play, but on the inner parts of the tuck box, that's right, this really nice silver and blue color definitely pops once you open the inner box. That's right, making sure your cards are well taken care of. The back design of the cards is that same kind of repeated casino back pattern of the mint logo that we all know and love. This time around, Christopher Lacosta and Assad both sat down and said, you know what, we're going to not redesign, but kind of uh, renew the back design a little bit and that's what they set out to do to make the marking system that's right marking system a little bit more clear and efficient by expanding the design to make it just that this is a two-way back design as you can see and it does have kind of thin to medium sized poker borders all right so with this deck you're going to receive four extra cards that's right i said extras the first card is going to be kind of a thank you card. It's going to be double sided. One side is going to be all black and it's going to have the mint logo and it's going to kind of have a little bit of ad copy and whatnot. But this side here on the white is going to have the logo up top. It's going to have a uh, little bit of a bout. It's going to have also, you know, Assad's name, Christopher's name, cinematographers and things, and also a list of producers. Now, you ask producers, yeah, that's right. 
If you bought in early on certain packages of the Kickstarter, you got to have your name put down as a producer of the deck. That's right. How awesome is that? I know a lot of people that actually did it twice on two different accounts. So they actually have their name on there in two different ways. So pretty cool, I must say. The second card you're going to receive, that's right, is a standard nowadays, and that is a double backer. A double backer is the same on both sides and really cool for different magic effects. And the last two cards you're going to get is two duplicate and original jokers. That's right, it's going to have the mint logo there in the middle in all black enlarged, and it's going to have joker in each of the corners, and this is also great for sandwich effects. So the pips and indices in this deck are kind of close to standard, but a little bit of uh, kind of reimagining, if you will. You're going to see they're going to be a little bit more lanky and a little bit more taller, and they're going to be a little bit more fancier and stylized, as you can see. All right, so as far as the court cards, as you can see, these are pretty much your standard Arco courts, but definitely been stylized with a modern twist and reimagined as well as a kind of redressing or recoloring as you can see there are no yellows but only black white and red were used a definitely eye-popping choice to say the least so the aces in this deck are the same way like i said they're definitely modernly standardized as you can see with the fatter pip in the center there as you can see on the diamond the club and the heart especially and then you're going to also get to the very beautiful ace of spades as you can see it's going to have that large center pip there and on the outside it's going to have a really cool border which goes along with the back design of the deck all right so what are my final thoughts on this deck? Gotta give it a 5 out of 5. I will give it a 20 out of 5, a 30 out of 5, a 40 out of 5, a 50 out of 5. It doesn't even matter. It's a... It's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. It's amazing. Um, This is my first mint deck. I gotta admit it. It turned me into a believer. I will be definitely backing this. Let me just... Uh, brief little uh, background real quick back when this was going on um, this was right around the same time of another Kickstarter and finances and things were just totally just <laughs> yeah um, as I'm sure a lot of you can appreciate sometimes you can't back every deck you want or whatever I also I knew it was gonna be a success I didn't know it was gonna be this big of a, of a you know a success I know Assad didn't even plan on it being this big um, but by the way I do want to formally congratulate Assad uh, in 52 cards on what he did this is a major major accomplishment um, that is just out of this world um, so kudos my friend kudos um, so yeah if you missed out don't you worry that's right if you go over to 52cards.com as also the Kickstarter and I'll link it all below so you guys can go ahead and just easily click on it um, but you can sign up through their newsletter there's an actual waiting list thing there you put your email in and he's gonna notify you after all the backers have received their decks he's gonna notify everybody if you signed up through email to purchase the cards that's right for retail price how awesome is that so you didn't miss out but the only thing is you're not going to be able to get the cool cucumber or the frost mint deck either as far as i know it's just the blueberry mint v2s which hey that's good these are amazing i uh, would love to have a brick of these aside if you're watching i need these buddy i need these um so yeah uh luckily i do want to shout out uh saint ellie ill or i lynch on youtube um i'll link him below like i said such a great dude man he allowed me to purchase this off of him such a good dude uh speaking of shout outs i do want to shout out ck cardis on instagram another good dude too i'm gonna link him below i only shout him out because you know what uh he did the same for me he reached out and he said hey man i want to shout you out i really like the channel um and i wanted to do the same in return um so if you guys are on instagram do me a favor Click that link down below where his uh, link is on Instagram and just drop a, a comment under there and say, hey, 
love from the dysfunctional magician or love from the dysfunctional family. Um, and yeah, that'd be great. That would be so much to me, uh, just so that way he knows that, uh, you know, we're showing support. So yeah, he's got a lot of great content, um, just really cool reposts and things. Um, follow him. Trust me, you won't go wrong. But yeah, um, like I said, I'll leave all the links below where you guys can go ahead and sign up and get these and get on that waiting list because they're going to be dropping soon. Like I said, fulfillment is happening now. And yeah, that's it. So uh, yeah, keep your eyes open. So other than that, you might be able to get lucky and find these at your local Murphy's Magic Retailer. And that's it. So if you guys enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed doing it for you, consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you beautiful people on the next one.